If you're watching Sam, please can we do this? I feel like that's the first step, saying no outside the home because then you bring less into the home. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is an exciting day for a couple of reasons. First of all, it is New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's Eve. I hope you are having a lovely day so far and have some fun things planned for the evening or just some chill things. We're gonna be staying home, having some friends over. It's gonna be pretty tame and I'm kind of excited. Second of all, this video is a collaboration with one of my newest, most favorite channels that I found on YouTube, which is Living the Life You Love. And her channel is all about loads of cool things from veganism to sustainable clothing to travel she does a whole bunch of amazing things so please go and check out her channel today we are going to be bringing you 10 easy ways to reduce waste for 2018 so i'm going to be doing 10 on my channel and over on Catherine's channel she's going to be doing another 10 so that is 20 tips to reduce waste in 2018 for you guys and I really hope you find them helpful. These are things I've been thinking about for the last two, three months and that I really hope to put into practice next year. So thank you so much for being here. Hi to everybody new that's come from Catherine's channel and let's get on with the video. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing to reduce my waste in 2018 is to start composting. We don't tend to have that much food waste. We have a little kiln in the jar where we pop all of our vegetable peel and apple cores and banana skins, although I do want to start making a face mask with banana skin. Um, but I really want to start composting and create beautiful compost to put onto our plants and just to make use of that fruit and veg. I've been doing some research into it and it's quite an interesting process and I'm really, really excited to get started. If any of you compost, please comment below with any tips you've got. The second thing I'm going to be doing to reduce my waste in 2018 is to totally eliminate disposable nappies from our house. If you've been following me for a while, you may know that I'm already extremely passionate about reusable nappies. I've done lots of blog posts and videos on them. I'll link them below. But there's still some instances where we use disposable nappies. They are when we go on holiday. And to be honest, I can't see that changing because traveling with reusable nappies is tricky. Just when it comes to the whole washing system, I can't see a way where we can be traveling on the road and still use reusable nappies. And I'm kind of comfortable with that. The second instance we use disposables are for childcare. So if the kids go to my parents or Sam's parents, I personally feel like that's already enough of a help. I don't want to impose anything else. I don't want to make it difficult for them. And so again, I'm comfortable with that scenario. The third instance in which we use disposable nappies, and by the way, I'm only talking about Sunny because Jack is out of nappies, is at night. So this is something I really, really want to get rid of coming into the next year. At the moment, I haven't found a nappy that is absorbent enough to hold Sunny's urine and everything else during the night. But come 2018, I'm gonna be making that my mission. We already use the Bambino Mio, and we love them. And I think I'm just gonna add more inserts and just totally get rid of any disposables at night on Sunny, and I'm really excited. The third thing I'm gonna be doing to reduce my waste in 2018 is to source way more sustainable clothing and to get rid of clothes that I'm no longer using. I'm really interested in learning more about sustainable clothing, where clothing comes from, how it's made. The other thing I'm really keen on is finding clothes, and this is especially for the kids that last. By that, I mean they can go through generations and still new. For example, my favorite item of clothing that the kids have are Oshkosh. These are dungarees that my mum kept from when we were little. So these are like, over 30 years old. These are the kind of clothes that last and are durable and aren't gonna get holy after a couple of uses. To be honest, I've basically eliminated any sort of fast fashion as well. Like, I just don't go into those shops. But for sure, I'd love to know more about ethical clothing, how it comes to us, the processes behind the making. So please, please comment below with any great sustainable brands you guys know. The other thing I really wanna do is downsize my wardrobe. By that, I mean I've got a bunch of clothes that I think could be better loved by someone else, and in my opinion, that's therefore a waste. I shouldn't be holding onto these clothes, I should be passing them on to charity shops, to friends, to other sources that are gonna make better use of them. The fourth thing I'm gonna to do to reduce my waste in 2018, which you can do too, is stop buying any fruit and veg that comes in plastic bags. By that, I mean, you know, there's like, bags of apples you might get, or the bags of carrots. Previously, I've sort of very guiltily taken one and put it in my trolley if I want to make, say, carrots that night and they come in a plastic bag. Come 2018, I'm gonna be led by produce that is without packaging and just loose. And I just feel that that is a really simple way to eliminate packaging and also just to make meal choices that bit easier. 
The fifth thing I'm going to do in 2018 is to move to reusable sanitary towels. As I previously mentioned, I'm already very into reusable nappies, so I feel like using reusable sanitary towels isn't that different, and I kind of already understand how the washing process goes. I feel like it's something that happens to us women once a month, so therefore it really shouldn't be a single-use item, and there are way more sustainable options out there, I know. I've already started researching some brands. Again, if anyone knows any cool brands, please comment below. But yeah, I'm excited about that. The sixth thing I'm going to be doing in 2018 to reduce my waste is to start making my own cleaning products. There are so many natural ingredients that we can use to clean our homes. Things like bicarbonate of soda, things like vinegar, things like essential oils. All of these things are amazing natural cleaning agents and I definitely want to be making better use of them come 2018. If you know any cool recipes, please comment below. The seventh way I'm going to be reducing my waste in 2018 is to try and make my own milk. So it's been something, again, I've been researching for the last month or so. I want to make oat milk, almond milk, cashew milk, different kinds of nut milks. I feel like it's a really therapeutic process as well, and given that we have two kids who drink quite a lot of milk, I think it would save us some money as well. Also eliminate those horrible plastic bottles that milk comes in in the fridge. I feel like once you have the mesh to strain the nuts, it's quite a simple process. Catherine from Living the Life You Love has actually done an awesome video all about making your own milk, and I'll link that below, so do check that out as well. The eighth thing I'm going to do next year, and this is more about my husband than me, so if you're watching Sam, please can we do this? He has a tendency to use lots of shampoo and conditioner and buy them in kind of small bottles. I get that he wants to use shampoo and conditioner shop bought, like for me I've experimented with no poo and personally I just use one single bar to wash my hair and to wash my body. But he uses like quite small bottles and he gets through quite a lot of them. So I really want to encourage him to either buy in bulk, bigger bottles, or to like start cutting down the amount he washes his hair, or to kind of find another option. But yeah, the amount of plastic packaging in our bathroom has got to change because at the moment it's like way too much. The ninth way I want to reduce my waste in 2018 is to get rid of every bit of cling film and tin foil in our house. At the moment we predominantly use beeswax, which I love, and it makes the most perfect covering for everything. But we still have tin foil and I don't know why. Come 2018, it's going. Whenever I cook something and I need to keep it safe the next day, I either put it in a stainless steel container. The other option, which is so simple, and for some reason I feel like people don't do it enough, I simply take a plate and pop it over the top of the plate or the bowl and it keeps it fresh as until whenever you next need it. The tenth thing I'm gonna do to reduce my waste next year is and this is more of a like attitude thing. So sometimes when I go into shops, I feel a little bit shy. Someone wants to hand me a receipt and I kind of take it or someone wants to give me a plastic bag and I kind of end up taking it. Come 2018, I'm gonna say no to all of that stuff and be way less British and way more forthright and just not even let that kind of waste enter our house because I feel like that's the first step, saying no outside the home because then you bring less into the home. So that's it. Those are my 10 tips on how I'm going to be reducing my waste in 2018. I hope you found them helpful and that you might try some of them out. Please pop over to Catherine's channel where you're going to find another 10 tips that she's put together. Comment below, as I said before, around any other tips you've got or things you've come across or ways you're going to be reducing your waste and I will see you on the other side. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!